Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're taking a look at Puma Fiosi. Puma Fiosi is a game for 2-5 to five players that plays in about 20 minutes. It is designed by Reiner Knizia and is being published by us here at Bytewing Games. The Puma Fiosi have a strict hierarchy. Everyone wants to rise to the top, but beware otherwise you might find yourself knocked to the bottom and even end up 6 feet under. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points. Points are earned by getting your Puma Mafia members onto the hierarchy. The higher up, the more points you can earn. Let's take a look inside the box. There are 9 hierarchy cards ranging from negative 3 to 10. There are 55 Puma cards labeled 1 through 55, point tokens, Puma family tiles with their associated wealth and penalty cards. To set up the game, give each player a color of family tiles and the positive and negative point tracker card. Set up the hierarchy cards in a vertical row in descending order, highest at the top. Shuffle the Puma Fiosi cards, deal 10 cards to each player as a draw deck, and each player will draw 3 cards from their deck as their starting hand. The second oldest player begins the game. They will begin by playing one of their Puma cards face up in front of them. In clockwise orders, players will take turns laying their cards. The second highest card wins the trick. The highest card stands out a little too much and finds himself in prison or murdered by one of the rival families. So the second highest card always wins. That player who won the trick will place their Puma on the hierarchy. All other cards are discarded. The Puma card can be placed on an open space or a space that's occupied by a lower Puma card. For example, Amanda wins this trick with a 34. She could legally place her Puma on the 10 8, 6, or anywhere below. She could even place it on the 5 next to the 28. Since the 28 is lower in value, it is knocked down the hierarchy, the purple player taking a negative point, which is placed on their penalty point card. If there are more cards on the hierarchy, there would be a cascading effect till each space only has one Puma card allotted to it. The negative 3 is the exception, the one spot on the hierarchy where multiple cards can be. So, when you win a trick, you will place your Puma card on the hierarchy. You want to place it high to get the most points, but then you might get knocked down. But if you place it too low, you're not maximizing your potential. Another player could earn a higher spot with an even lower card. After the player has placed their Puma card, all players draw back up to three cards. Once your deck is exhausted, you just don't draw any more cards. The player who won the last trick and placed their card on the Puma hierarchy will begin the next trick. After you have played all 10 of your cards over the 10 tricks, the game ends. Throughout the game, you'll be earning negative points as your cards get knocked down the hierarchy. You'll collect positive points at the end of the game for whatever cards your Pumas are on. For example, Amanda earned eight, five, three, and two points, but she also earns a negative three points. At the end of each game, players should return an equal number of positive and negative points to keep the math simple. One quick note. It's just embarrassing if your family doesn't show up anywhere on the hierarchy. If that's the case, you earn negative 10 points that round. And that's the end of the first game. Shuffle the cards, deal 10 new cards to each player, and begin the round again. The player who won the last trick will begin the new round. After three games, whoever has the highest points wins the game. In case of a tie, the player in that round who has their card on the highest hierarchy space is the winner. Well, that's fine and dandy, but how do you play with two players? Excellent question, thank you for asking. The game will be played essentially the same. Each player will be given 10 cards, still drawing up to three. All the other cards will just be placed to the side as a third player. We'll call him Luigi. On your turn, the first thing you'll do is draw one card from Luigi, and then the start player will go, and then the opponent will go. If Luigi wins, the start player becomes the opponent, the other player, so that you're alternating with which player is the start player. However, if you, as a player, win the round, then you begin the next round just like regular. So what happens if Luigi does win a round? He'll place his Puma card on the hierarchy, whatever spot's the highest available spot either a spot that's unoccupied or a spot that's occupied by a lower card than Luigi's card. He won't be earning points, so you don't need to worry about family tiles and things like that. He just is placed on the hierarchy. And that's Puma Fiosi. 
There are four additional optional tiles that you can use. Hopefully we'll get those unlocked in the Kickstarter campaign. Those are the machine gun, the bulletproof vest, the notebook, and the wedding ring. I'll briefly describe those. The machine gun lets you add 10 and a half to your current card. So if I laid the 24, it's essentially a 34 and a half. That's only for counting if you get on the hierarchy or not. Once you place your card on the hierarchy, remove the machine gun, and it's just a 24 that's on the hierarchy. The bulletproof vest is laid on your card as soon as you put the card on the hierarchy. A card with a bulletproof vest won't take any negative points as it's knocked down the hierarchy, so you might as well go high. The notebook is placed on a Puma card when it's placed on the hierarchy as well. The notebook will make that card count for times two. So if you get knocked down, instead of losing one point, you actually lose two. But if you end on the 10 space, instead of earning 10 points, you actually earn 20. The wedding ring is the last token. If you put your puma on the hierarchy and knock another card down, you can put your wedding ring on that card. You're now married to that card, so any negatives that card gets, you also get. But at the end, any points that scores, you also get. And that's Pumafiosi. Until next time.